Hello everyone, Captain Bravo here with my very first unboxing. So I will be unboxing the Premium Gold Collection today. My actually very first gold collection. This is the Infinite Gold. Uh, the gold collections are uh, sets with that come with three packs, five packs each, and they're all oh, five cards in each pack, and they're all gold rare. Now this is the one with the that contains those salt generating sweethearts, Cosmos. However, I don't mind if I pull a lot of them today. They can be fun. So, let's see what I get. First pack. Second pack. Third pack. Alright. Let's see the first pack. There we go. Alright, the first card we have is Bahamut Shark. Not bad. A rank 4 Water Xyz. Uh, once per turn, you can detach one Xyz material from this card. Special summon one rank 3 or lower Water Xyz monster from your extra deck. However, this card cannot attack the rest of the turn. It has 2600 attack and 2100 defense. Uh, the next card is Cosmo or Cosmo Wicked Witch which apparently thinks she's a Jedi. Neat. Uh, level 4 Psychic Monster, 1900 attack, 300 defense. During either player's turn, you can banish this card. Special summon one level 5 or higher Cosmo monster from your hand. You can only use this effect once per turn. And during either player's turn, you can pay 1000 life points. And for this turn, this card cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. That's pretty nice. Next card is a spell, Draco Faceoff. It is a quick play spell. We reveal one Draco Slayer Pendulum Monster and one Draco Overlord Pendulum Monster from your deck. Your opponent randomly picks one of them for you to place in your Pendulum Zone or Special Summon. Your choice. And you can add the other card to your extra deck face up. You can only activate this once per turn. So that is a very amazing card. I like that. Next card is number 38, Hope Harbinger T Dragon Titanic Galaxy. That's nice. I like that. He is a whom is he? One, two, three, four, six, eight. Uh, rank eight Xyz, most likely. Since it's a dragon, it's probably supposed to be for blue eyes. Uh, once per turn during either player's turn, when a spell card is activated on the field, you can negate that effect, and if you do, attach this card to th that card to this card as Xyz material. Uh, when an opponent's monster declares an attack, you can detach one Xyz material. Change the attack target to this card and perform damage calculation. If a face-up Xyz monster you control is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can target one face-up Xyz monster you control and gains attack equal to one of the destroyed monster's attack. It's 3,000 attack and 2,500 defense. So that is a beautiful card right there. Last card for this pack is the Traveler and the Burning Abyss. Not bad. Right, it's a trap card. Target any number of Burning Abyss monsters in your graveyard. Now we're sent there this turn. Special summon them in defense position. You can only activate one of these per turn. All right, moving on to the second pack. Very exciting. Oh, well, well, well. Hmm, this is nice. First card is, and I'm very happy about this, number 11, Big Eye. Yeah, got him now. He is a rank 7. Uh, Spellcaster Xyz, 2600 attack, 2000 defense. Uh, once per turn, you can detach one Xyz material from this card, then target a monster your opponent controls, and take control of it. However, this card cannot attack the turn you use that. Oh, damn, it's a nice pack. Neat. Alright, next card is Beatrice, Lady of the Eternal, a Burning Abyss card. She is a rank 6. Fairy Xyz. Attack, 2,500. Defense, 2,800. Now, this takes two level 6 monsters to Xyz, but you can also Xyz summon this monster by sending one Burning Abyss monster from your hand to the graveyard, then using Dante as Xyz material. If this is summoned this way, the following effect cannot be activated this turn. Once per turn, during either player's turn, you can detach one Xyz material from this card, send one card from your deck to the graveyard. If this card is in possession, is destroyed... 
by your opponent's card effect by or by battle, and sent to your graveyard, you can special summon one Burning Abyss monster from your extra deck. The next card is a spell card, Reasoning. Old one, pretty nice. Your opponent declares a monster level. Excavate cards from the top of your deck until you excavate a monster that can be normal summoned or set. If that monster is the same level as the one de declared by your opponent, send all excavated cards to the graveyard. If not, special summon the monster and send the remaining cards to the graveyard. Next one is Angmarl, the Fiendish Monarch. Oh boy, Monarchs, more salt. Uh, this is a level 6, 2400 attack, 1000 defense monster. When this card is tribute summoned, you can banish one card from your graveyard and add one card of the same name as the banished spell card from your deck to your hand. The last card for this pack is Graf Melbrank of the Burning Abyss. Look at that. It is a Fiend level 3 monster. If you control a monster that is not Burning Abyss monster, destroy this card. You can only use one of the effects of Graf Malbrek of the Burning Abyss once per turn, and only once that turn. If you control no spell or trap cards, you can special summon this card from your hand. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one Burning Abyss monster from your deck, except one of these. Alright, on to the third pack. Did well the first two packs. I uh, can't wait to see what we have here. Oh, there we go. Okay. First card is Victor Pendulum, the Draco Overlord. Oops, uh, there we go. Nice. A level 4 normal Pendulum monster. Its Pendulum ability is you can negate all card effects in your opponent's Pendulum zones. It's a dragon, has a 0 defense, and 1800, 1850 attack. Hi. Right. Like this. Next card is Cosmo Goodwitch. Hmm, so I got Wicked Witch and Glinda in the same pack. That's nice. Uh, level 4, Psychic Monster, 1800 attack, 1000 defense. During either player's turn, you can banish this card and special summon one level high, 5 or higher Cosmo from your hand. You can only use this once per turn, and once per turn you can pay 500 life points. Target one monster on your opponent's field face up and change it to face down defense position. Next card is Mask Change. This is a quick play spell. You can target a one hero monster you control, send it to the graveyard, and special summon from your extra deck a masked hero with the same attribute. Beautiful transform summoning. I love it. The next is a trap card, Phantom Knights of Dark Gauntlets. Yeah. You can send one Phantom Knight spell or trap card from your deck to the graveyard. When an opponent's monster declares in a direct attack while you control no cards, and this card is in your graveyard, special summon one card uh -huh. in defense position as an effect monster, or this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. It'll be a warrior, dark, level 4, 300 attack, 600 defense. If summoned this way, this card gains 300 defense for each Phantom Knight spell or trap card in your graveyard. The last card for this pack and the box, Arc Fiend Eccentric. A level 3 Fiend Pendulum Monster. Its Pendulum ability is you can target one other spell or trap card in the field, destroy it and this card, and the monster ability is you can tribute this card, target one monster in the field, and destroy it. You can only use this effect once per turn. And its attack is 800 attack and 1000 defense. So that is my first gold box. I'm personally very pleased. I hope you guys had some fun seeing this video. Remember, if you have, I also do deck profiles and deck mechanics. If you have any videos you would like me to do, just send me like a message on Facebook at Noah Hitchcock or send me a message here on one of my videos. I do Yu-Gi-Oh, Buddy Fight, Vanguard, and Pokemon. Have a great day, all you.